Welcome to the Decentral Report analysis of Bitcoin market dominance. It's great timing for a number of reasons to take a look at the brief history of Bitcoin market cap dominance. First of all, why look at this? The market cap stats are the most important values to look at when comparing the values of different technologies. Since each cryptocurrency has a different supply, it is essentially nonsensical to compare coins based on their prices alone. It's best to look at market cap, which multiplies supply by the price. This gives a better indication of how a technology is doing in the crypto market with respect to all of the others. If we added up all the market caps of all 1,614 cryptocurrencies listed on CoinMarketCap.com, you get this total figure right here of about $450 billion, which is the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies. As you can see, the Bitcoin market cap is currently about $163 billion. So this $163 billion is about 36% of the total $450 billion. Market cap dominance, which can be accessed easily on CoinMarketCap.com by clicking this link at the top center right, shows us, relatively speaking, who has how much of the crypto pie. This chart shows us, over time, how market cap dominance has changed and who the major players have been over time. We will focus on Bitcoin, the orange line, Ripple, the light blue line, Ethereum, the purple line, and this silver line here, which is all other cryptocurrencies combined, other than the ones listed on this chart. I will refer to this silver line as the altcoin market. So let's take a look at the stats story from 2013 up until today, and hopefully get an idea of what is to come in the future for the crypto markets in general. From 2013 to February 25th, 2017, you can see Bitcoin steadily losing market dominance, going from about 94% to 85% over this three and a half year period of time. This 10% decrease represents the slow trickle of new cryptocurrencies being launched as they collectively and inevitably eroded away the Bitcoin market cap dominance. Notably, over this time, you have Ripple's first boost, leading to the first drop in Bitcoin market cap dominance. March 2014 saw the altcoin market take its first major chunk out of Bitcoin dominance, with no significant action until January 2015, when Ripple took a nice Mako shark-sized bite out of the Bitcoin dominance. The altcoin market also saw its second major boost of itch at this time. A year later, Bitcoin had consolidated much of its dominance, getting as high as 91% again. This was quickly smashed down by Ethereum's first significant helping of the crypto dominance pie. Exactly a year later from the 2016 peak, the 2017 crossover saw Bitcoin pump back up to 87% dominance. But then on that fateful February 25th, 2017, Bitcoin's market cap dominance, Banjo, snapped cascading its way from 86% all the way down to 39%, caused by a mass flooding of Bitcoin capital into Ethereum, Ripple, and altcoin markets. The Bitcoin Mega Boostovich at the end of 2017 saw an exodus out of anything other than Bitcoin Cash and into Bitcoin. This was followed shortly afterwards with the steepest recorded Bitcoin dominance nosedive in the history of cryptos. Again, a combo of Ripple, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and altcoins working together contributed to this free fall in Bitcoin dominance. Most notably at this time, we can clearly see altcoins taking a commanding position over both Ripple and Ethereum. And for the first time in history, it looks like altcoins have a majority effect on Bitcoin dominance. And this collective altcoin market cap is surging upwards well away from the rest of the pack. What is happening? Two things. This chart is flawed since the coins tracked and listed here are not all top 10. So the other line actually has some top 10 coins in it, inflating its value. More importantly though, is the fact that we are now seeing a tremendous influx of new projects from the ICO explosion now going to market. These are the cryptos added in just the last month alone. 
No doubt the future is clear. The altcoin market cap dominance will surge past the Bitcoin dominance and soon. My prediction is that the crossover point will be at about 30% occurring at about mid-June. There are two important ideas to take forward from here. End of Bitcoin peaks in dominance have occurred in four of the past five years, with 2015 as the only exception. Will speculators bank on this run for the end of 2018? I personally think the end of 2018 will be a rerun of the 2015 year, where a couple of major cryptos, plus the altcoin market in general, will do the best. Why? Speculators are clearly flooding into the altcoin markets. Altcoin price curves have finally decoupled from the Bitcoin price curve. We are seeing rational, project-specific boosts, which correspond to tech releases, partnerships, and release of new and awesome technologies every week. 2018 saw a rush into Bitcoin investing, only to serve up to the rest of the world the fact that altcoin markets are not only viable, but extremely profitable if played correctly. As new traders, both institutional and private, master the tech for trading, the inevitable dabbling in altcoins can quickly become the focus. Although you'll see institutions focusing on top 20 and even top 50 cryptos, Private traders working at lower volumes will flood into the top 500 cryptos for trading on an ongoing and steady basis. Traditional crypto volatility is very much alive in the altcoin markets and will continue to draw a lot of attention. These arguments in combination bring me to the conclusions I have made. The altcoin market will surpass Bitcoin dominance in the near future. This means that traders will be actively hunting for gems in the altcoin market how to spot them, best performing currencies will be really well launched ICO and new projects, which can be a lot of fun on launch if your timing is correct. Most importantly, projects that launched in 2016 and 2017 are going online this year. Keep an eye out for product releases. For example, the Monaco card, the Rivets platform, the Cash World Book, the Stratus ICO platform, or the Singularity Net AI marketplace are some examples of many that could cause serious boost of itch. For anyone that thinks, I just took a huge dump on Bitcoin, I in fact have not. Bitcoin prices can still rise with the market cap dominance falling at the same time. To be sure, I believe Bitcoin dominance will see another peak in October or November, followed by a massive surge in altcoin dominance for the new year. Only time will tell. Always in motion the future is, and happy trading everybody. Thanks for watching.